Hi y'all, I'm already burning up, but I'm going to start a new project because I don't have anything else to do. I'm gonna go ahead and start a project that needs to go against this wall because if you remember, and I'll turn you around in a minute, I had a piece here that I created for one of the challenges, the Bright and Bold Challenge. And over the Mother's Day, week, Mother's Day weekend, I decided to put that piece up for sale and it sold within five minutes of me posting it. So I now have a super empty spot in what we are calling the clothing room, vintage clothing. She's selling my daughter, I mean by she. She's selling Hawaiian shirts and vintage clothing. She's selling vintage and American Eagle denim jeans. And she's selling all kinds of shoes. So this is her little boutique and we need a piece to go against this wall with my dollar. Have you guys seen my dollar? It's awesome. You need to see the 50 to 50 vlogs to find out what happened with that big old dollar right there. But anyways, we need to put something here. So let me show you what I'm thinking this time. And I'm gonna put it here. It's still gonna be for sale, but let's see what just happens now this time. It could go or it could not. I don't know. I'm going to do something that's going to fit the room. And I guess I'm going to keep doing them if they keep selling. Let's go show you. Perhaps I should measure first, but I think that this fits perfectly in that space. I also like the fact that it has open space and I can put baskets in all four of these places. We have display on the top and I think I'm going to leave it kind of the way that it looks right now. I'm going to do something, some things that are going to be different, of course, but I love the look. It does need some love right here. So maybe I'll just sand it and leave it bare. Maybe we'll go with that. What do you guys think? You know, a lot of times pieces show a lot less just when you first take a glance at, at them. They show a lot less damage than they really have. And that's something that a lot of times people don't understand and they get upset because you we paint pieces. But sometimes they have to. This piece is oak. I'm pretty sure that I can um, sand it. And I'm going to try to do that at first. But I have some serious water damage right there. And I can't even, it's hard to even show right here. But I have lifted veneer. And although this is not veneer, but lifted wood right here. This is all lifted right here. Maybe right there. There you there. Nah. It's hard to show it. But all of this right here has been lifted because you can see the watermark. That's that's the problem with it. Um but a lot of times, just at first glance, people think, uh, you know, what is she painted? And that's why. Because if I get into that and that stain doesn't come off and is more than I can bear to leave as it will be, I probably will paint it, even if it's on the outside. So let's see where this takes me. But that's kind of where we are. It was also disgustingly dirty. I have four buckets. Four buckets of water that look just like that. And it didn't even look like that. Okay, I have an idea and I'm gonna try to take the back off. So let's see if I can do that without damaging it. It is solid wood, so I don't wanna damage that but it'll be easier to remove it than to do what I want to do with the back on it. Let's see.
I removed all of the hardware that is on all of these pieces. This piece right here of veneer needs to be replaced. I will be bondoing that. And I have removed from here all of those that were placed there. I assume that they had something hanging. This side is in better shape and does not need any repairs. I'll be removing this hardware and these. This oak top, although is completely solid, completely solid, it has this split up here and is rather long. Starts right here and literally comes to right here. It's less so here, it's just starting. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, pl and put some plastic wood on it I'm choosing plastic wood because it goes on pink it dries on um, natural and it's actually a little bit more natural than the natural color that I have right now I decided to go ahead and grab a little chunk of this and drive it into that hole rather than putting more water in it that way I don't have any water under there I think after thinking about it while I was doing it this is the best way to solve this it's cool.
difference between this leg and this leg even though it doesn't look like much is a lot look at that
appears in the space that I intended it to be but as I breathe in this piece is also for sale so if it works for you I guess I'll do another one <laughs>